Okay, so we've now been back from the cruise for like three days. Three days. We usually do this on the ship, but um, I was like literally throwing up from the free champagne that I got as a silver member. It was an awful champagne. It was, it was like awful. the cheapest champagne ever. She's had two glasses. And I had two up. glasses <laughs> and spent the whole morning throwing up. So yeah. that yeah. was not fun <laughs> so anyway this is our normal breakdown of what we thought of the cruise this is our our end of the uh vacation review right baby right. so let's what let's start with the food okay? okay now i went into great depth about this in my last video oh, boy. and i'm gonna say it again it's gone down it's gone down but the biggest problem is the no lobster no lobster no lobster no, no lobster, lobster. <laughs> no lobster we asked two managers on two different restaurants um why, why, there's, there no was, lobster. why there's no lobster and we got two different answers one guy said well it shrinks <laughs> it so, shrinks for some reason norwegian's been around since uh 66 it's 60, and 1960. It, it, 60, no, I think 65 or 66. You said 1960. Okay, well, it's been around. It's been around. And all of a sudden, like three years ago, the lobster started shrinking. For four decades, five decades, they've had lobster. Now, all of a sudden, three years later, they quit lobster. No they, lobster. They don't have lobster. They don't even have little lobster chunks in lobster bisque. Yeah, I None. mean, they don't get me wrong. They sell the lobster bisque at Cagney's, but there ain't no chunks of lobster in that. There's no it's lobster. Like it's like pureed. Just... It's gross. Yeah. We were told like, um, oh, well, it's not that the ship can't afford it. It's just that it all spoils. Like we always have so much left. Well, uh, don't you have to adjust inventory then? Like, that's what restaurants do. They adjust inventory accordingly. Okay, too much lobster, too much waste of lobster. I get it. Why don't you get less and sell it? At the specialty restaurant. At the specialty restaurant. Where you have to pay for it. Yeah, like where your surf and turf at Cagney's, your your fine dining steakhouse. It used now, to be lobster and filet mignon. Now, and now it's, it's filet mignon and shrimp. 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 Two shrimps on top of a filet mignon. A four ounce filet uh, mignon. I think I can get better at Denny's. I'm just saying. Like, stop with the excuses, Norwegian. You're just, you don't wanna, you wanna profit more and you don't wanna get the lobster and that cheapens your brand, in my opinion. The food in all the uh, public restaurants uh, Was, has gone down dramatically. Yeah. The appetizers just, were okay, but all, we mostly ate fish. And it was Which dry, was, it was all dry of it. And dry. And Even if it was in sauce, portions. it was dry. Very small portion. It, now, I just want to say that the buffet is an abomination. It's just the food is just... It's awful. And I saw someone spray Crisco spray on everything, including the vegetables. She witnessed somebody I witnessed a it. bottle of Crisco and spraying it on the vegetables to keep to it keep shiny. To keep it shiny and fresh looking. Crisco. Crisco! To be on the more positive side, I, I will say we, we did three specialty restaurants. Mm -hmm. One, Sazucked, and that was Cagney's. Cagney's. We used to love it. I never have taken a... I, I was going to splurge once and have a steak, because I haven't had one in forever. And how so, was your steak, baby? I, I had a, a ribeye steak, and it was... I said, medium rare, and I said, please make it medium rare. Whenever I order medium rare, it's overcooked. And he said, oh, I guarantee it's going to be medium rare. Great. Comes back, it's a little bit more done than medium. I never I never take a steak back. But stuff like but that happens him, all said, the time. So whatever. So I told him, I said, take the steak they, back. They took it in back. In a very nice way. And they bring me back another steak, which is perfectly cooked, but it's half fat. It's half fat. Anyway, we did not enjoy our meal at Cagney's. But... We're, we're not all gloom and doom. The other, we two, went the to, other two specialty restaurants went were really to Le Bistro, excellent. or it's called Jefferson's Bistro right. on Norwegian Pride, but it's Le Bistro. <coughs> right. And that is always amazing. And the restaurant is just gorgeous, beautiful restaurant. Um, and then, and everything was great. Like, I, we got a ton of stuff. We got snails, they were great. I think I got the scallops. They were awesome. And then we went Amazing. to Teppanyaki, 
and that's always great. It's like hibachi style, and it's just good, and, and it's a fun time, and the always. Guy, the guy was very entertaining, chopping stuff up and everything, and making it right in front of us. That was great. And then they had two more restaurants. One, the Cadillac Diner, which you didn't go to. No. But I went to to get a snack, and it's okay. It's just like fast I food wish I had. type crap. So if you want some junk food, go there. And the other was Far East, which uh, is not a specialty restaurant, but they have specialty items. And he bought the sea bass. It's it's like Asian fusion. Chile, uh, Chile and sea bass. Chilean Did you like it, baby? Bass. I loved it. It was great. But that cost fifteen ninety nine. Okay, so we've covered the food. So now we're gonna cover like the ship. Basically, this is my thoughts on the ship. My thoughts are the ship is beautiful. They recently renovated it, and he's like a big history buff, and it's all like uh, revolutionary, like early American style. Pride John of America. That's the yeah. So, so it's like John uh, Adams, George Washington. I saw a big portrait of Abigail Adams. Yeah. Uh, Jefferson, Washington, that kind of, the founding fathers, that kind of thing. Very Americana. Lots of flags around, things like that. So basically, very it's well decorated. Very, very well decorated. Very pretty ship. Very clean ship. and But not a whole lot to do. I mean, they did have shows every night. But and but they just had a pool, like no like rock climbing wall or water slides or stuff like that. But I will say, it doesn't really matter because you are at port every single day, and you're busy. You you know you're in Hawaii. There's, there's never no any, days there's never at any sea. days at sea because we so, island hopped. So it doesn't matter that there's not as much to do on the ship, and we had a good time. Yeah, um, a great time. The shows, uh, there was like. Two production shows that were just basically reviews. One was like lights, camera, uh, Hollywood. No lights, no, camera, lights, camera, dance, and one was a Vegas show. <laughs> Sorry, forgot the exact names, but they were they were good enough. I just felt like quality wise, um, like they weren't as clean as what we've seen on the other ships. And that's not to insult the cast. The cast did a great job, but quality wise, like, like we've seen better by the company. So in terms of entertainment, that's what we saw. The pool area was nice. Um, but for, for the first time, like usually we're such ship people, like we love just like staying on the ship. But this trip, we were out on land a lot every day. So, which brings me to my next thing, Let's talk about the excursions we did because we did four excursions. So our first excursion was Haleakama, Haleak Haleakala at sunset. Say it again. Haleakala. Haleakala. Uh, we recommend it. It was gorgeous. Amazing. It takes a, it takes a, like an hour and a half to get up there. He stops along the way. I've been all bit. over the world, forty countries, and I, uh, mostly on ships, and i and even to Alaska, but I've. I've never seen any scenery like this. this. This was amazing. I just want to burn it in my head. And I took yeah, it was thousands of pictures. And they do that at sunrise too. But I heard that they're yeah. equally beautiful. And if you do sunrise, you have to wake up at like 2 a.m. So I don't recommend that one. Yeah. So then the second thing we did was zip lining. Yeah. <laughs> zip lining. And that was in Hilo. We love zip lining. It's our third okay. or fourth time of zip lining. The first thing was that you have to know was it was... Pouring rain. Pouring, Pouring. rain. And like we thought it was gonna, deluge. We thought they were gonna uh, be canceled. Canceled. They said no, rain or shine. Oh, okay. Oh, it was awful. Just, it was coming almost, down in torrents. And I felt uncomfortable and wet. Usually, when you zip line, they have lockers for you to keep your stuff in. But they were like, "Oh, you have to carry everything on you." Well, I already had this big heavy ass backpack so i had to carry it the entire time so that sucked um they should have warned you about that once it stopped raining we had a nice time except except on the last one it's like it's, it's half a mile almost. it's about a half a mile almost it's it, it, it you couldn't barely see the other end of it and so i i got on it i think i was the, i think it was the first one uh and I pushed off really hard, knowing that I had to reach the other end, and I got there all right. 
Well, I've but. never had a problem reaching the other end, and also I had that heavy backpack on my back. But Lori didn't push off. I almost get. I don't. I don't push off. <laughs> she just stepped off. You right? know, I step off, but there should be enough momentum anyway with the shape of it. But the bottom line is, not only did I not make the other end, I didn't even make the rope to grab on. So I started slowly, 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 slowly drifting off to the middle of the half mile zip line. They never said. If you don't make it and you slip back to the middle, don't worry, we'll come rescue you. So I'm like hanging in the middle and I honestly... Scared to death. Scared to death. I had no idea how they would rescue me. They ended up scaling the, the wire. Guy, the guy clipped himself on upside down, crawled down to grab her. And then upside down grabs her and, and takes her to, back in tow. Y'all have to remember, I'm a quarter mile away from this. I can't. There's a waterfall. I can't hear anything. It was terrifying, but otherwise it was like she was crying. I was crying, and I, and I had but to... they also served fresh local fruit, which was really cool. And that was one more thing I forgot to mention about the food on Norwegian was because it's a Hawaii ship. I was hoping that they would have like local Hawaii food, like lychees maybe or mango, even a pineapple. Come on, it's Hawaii. Right. They had some pineapple, but not even. It was like the typical melon. Like when they say fruit plate, it was 90% melon. So that sucked. Then our next one was uh, parasailing the very next day. So after I'm, again. I'm traumatized from the zip line and now I have to parasail in um, Kona. We were on a 1,500 foot rope behind the boat. 1,500 foot in the air. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. It was really pretty. Um, if you're scared of heights, I, I highly do not recommend it. I was <laughs> hyperventilating the entire time, but it all turned out well, and it was a gorgeous view. Just for all you people that don't know which islands to get excursions on, etc., if if there's any island you, I mean, or area you don't want to get an excursion on, I think Kona's the one because there was so much to do off the ship like there was shops and it was so pretty and cute and great restaurants lot tons of shops <laughs> and then our last our last stop was Kauai, and we did the um oh my god why am i blanking what excursion did we do baby what was our last excursion oh i know why i can't remember mm, it mm. sucked that other crater that wally walk 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 Oh my say, god. It, say it, baby. Waliakama. Yeah. No. Wa Waliakaba? No. Wa <laughs> oh my god. Starts with a W and it's on Kauai. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> it was just boring. Like, it's a bus ride. You get there. They let you out for like a half hour. Oh. It's packed. It's like this overly packed national park. You can barely get to the railing. To take pictures yes it's beautiful but there's just too many people there we weren't even there long enough like we wanted to walk around more and there it was like back we drove the forever to get there and they said okay we're gonna be here we'll, be, we'll meet back here in 25 minutes 25 minutes i want to spend a couple of hours here yeah after all that time to get there and then after that we went to that spout thing what was that called it was like a spout of water. Oh, yeah. It was kind of cool, yeah. but it, it was the that same was cool. thing. You couldn't get around. It was like a geyser. It was like a geyser. Yeah. It spouts water of 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. But you couldn't feet. get around the people. And and then we also went to a coffee plantation, which I really would have loved to have stayed at more. And we had, like, she said, 15 minutes. It was just uh, wakami, wakaimi. Good enough. Anyway. I don't recommend that excursion. I wish we could have done something else. And um, there is a beach within, I think that location had the closest beach within walking distance if you just want to have a beach day, which we did the next mm -hmm. day. Yeah. So this is my overall review. Um, we had an amazing time. The service was great, by the way. The people there was great. They always give you a smile, a genuine, seems like a genuine smile. That's a good thing I have to say about Norwegian. Uh, rather than the Royal Caribbean or, or other ships. But I think the main reason our vacation was so amazing was Hawaii. It's oh, just so beautiful. And, and one thing you can, if you go, if you go on the, uh, on this particular ship, you you have to get a cabin 
with a balcony. You cannot get oh an inside cabin because it's the, the scenery as you're going from island to island is just amazing. It's yeah, just, you, you. It's jaw dropping scenery. This it's is just, not the cruise to skimp us. Is this the best cruise ship we've ever been on? No, but you know what? It's very lovely. Really? We saw we saw some decent shows, but. What made the trip special was the stops. So, um, the ports, the ports of call. Exactly. Amazing. So, with all that being said, I do recommend this ship, except if you're hardcore ship people that are mostly going to want to stay on the ship, I don't recommend this ship. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing we forgot to say is we actually did the 11 day cruise package which starts at with three days at Marriott Waikiki and I don't want to go too much into this but those three days are uh, the Marriott Waikiki is a nice hotel but those the Marriott uh, Re Resort Hotel on Waikiki Beach I mean it sounds amazing but we didn't have any time to spend there because we had to get up at four in the morning every single day every single day to be they, on the uh, they give you there's like it's basically like a tours included every day and it was pretty good for the most part, but the last day um, sucked and the ship starts boarding at 12. It leaves at 7 p.m. We didn't get to board till after 4 p.m. because our our last day of touring took that long and it, it, it was boring. It was, that last oh day. Oh my gosh. Everyone wanted to get on the ship. If you do the three, the, th the 11 day package with the three days at Marriott Waikiki, Skip the third day. Skip grab the third a, day. Grab an Uber. Grab go. an Uber and go to the ship and board and, and get in line at 10, 30, 11 so you can board, it, board oh. at noon. Or get in line at noon. Just don't get on the ship at 4 because we had no time to, like... Come find out when we got on the ship. There was entertainment. There was a, a Hawaiian girls dancing. There was a lot of music going there on. There was people, food. People were exploring the ship and all this stuff. By the time we got on at 4, 15, 4, 30... Uh, they were saying, "Go to your mustard state. Go to your mustard state. Mustard. For the, go to your mustard stations for the drill. For the for the fire drill. We're like, what? We missed sail away. We were so starved, we had to eat during sail away, or we were gonna die. Unbelievable. But uh, anyway, that's our review. So I give it about take it. it or leave it. I would give the scenery an A plus plus plus, and the service an A plus plus plus. You know, I'm gonna cut all this because oh, it's okay. boring. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, that's Lori and Gary. If you have any questions for us, please post and and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And <laughs> let me know about your opinion, if it's different from ours or the same. All right, out. Bye, happy cruising.